what's up. It's me in the building. You know it is. You love him. You hate him. Run. Malik Williams, baby. Up in the building. Let's keep it real. I'm going to try to be loud. I'm going to go straight to the point. We all are mad. He's like, where's the guy at? I can't see nobody but the TV. What's wrong with him? He hiding? Here I hear you. Yo. We're in America today. We all like certain things. People like to eat good dinners. Like going to the mall. Like getting the shopping on. You know, things of that nature. My thing is, everybody loves sex. We men love a sexy little female. And I've had pretty much all of them. What I mean by that is, I've had a tall woman, six foot four. She weighed about 280 pounds. As a matter of fact, she used to play basketball for the University of Memphis for a brief moment. But she was so big, they said, look, that's not fair. The girl's too damn big. Get off the court. We got a room one day years ago. I ain't lose her name because I don't want to incriminate her. I wore a size 13 shoe. She wore a size 13 shoe. Woo, girl. And you talking about her breasts? Her breasts were like, pow. I mean, her breasts got into the door 10 minutes before she got there. Like, oh, okay, that's, 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 that's what's the name. She just coming in. Here you all I mean, and the sex made me realize that some girls are just too damn tall and too damn big. We were having sex, and she, first thing she took off her clothes. We stood in the mirror like, "Girl, you almost you tall. I'm almost tall. You girl, you tall. Yeah, I'm tall." And I tried to maneuver her to the bed, and that didn't work. You know, you can always kind of rustle a little chick to the bed. She took her head in the bed. She lay over that now. This girl was so big, I was like, "Okay, let me try to maneuver her." The guy's legs was like that, right? One thigh, other thigh like that. So I tried to move the thighs, and I thought, I was like, what's wrong with you? Hey, hey, what's wrong with you? Hey, wait a minute. Hey, what, what's wrong with you? Uh, hey, uh, my bad. She said, I'll move my thighs. Don't you move. I said, I got you, baby. She went into a position I had never seen called the big motherfucking girl position. And her legs were like big tree trunks, like I said. And I'm climbing in like I'm going to drive a big-ass car or a big truck. I had to climb in there. And as I'm hitting it, she was making those big truck loads, <laughs> and it was amazing to me that as making love or having sex or getting some from a big woman, tall and big, that it's a hell of a job. My muscles in my neck were twitching, and my back had an ache in it, like, man, I'm gonna fuck around big lover, and my dick was telling my back, shut the fuck up, we getting some pussy, and I'm still trying to hit that. And I roll her leg over to the side, you know what the car wheel turns to the side with her legs on your shoulder, and her legs on that ground, and you in the center of the motion of that ocean. And when she came, she had a sound that I had never heard and will never ever want to hear again. I was like, give me that pussy, baby, give me that pussy. Next thing you know, I had never heard a sound like that. And I don't want to hear it again. Now that's the big women. Now, little women, here's the thing. Little women like rock. Okay, here's the thing. People need to recognize that sex is not good for everybody. Now, I've had a woman that was 4 feet 10, 4 feet 9. She said, I'm 4 11. You are 4 feet 8 and a half. And we were having sex for the first time, and I don't want to grow somebody out, but she bled like she couldn't have any kids. But she bled like she was on a cycle. And it was because I was a little bit too aggressive, and she wasn't really used to me. And let's um, move on to the next subject. It was really sad, and I feel bad for it because it is what it is. You get what you get. If you ask for the big one, you get the big one. You want a little one, you better go look somewhere else. But anyway, that's just what it was. Now, some women, y'all know they lying. When I was 18, I had a woman, 35 years old. 18 years old, 35 years old. When you're 18 years old, your dick get so hard, a cat can't scratch the motherfucker. And you know my line, you're like, why are they catching? Because I have to express myself. And she was 35, and she always called, hey, what you doing? Oh, nothing. Bring me a beer, go 45. Yeah, on my way. I get on my bike and paddle, <laughs> get to her house, give her the code 45, and we throw that out. One day we got to her father's house because she moved out. Father had a black little sofa. We getting busy. I'm like, man, bring me a code 45. On my way, bring code 45, we get busy. She's on the couch and laying down, stretched out perfectly. Oh, man, she was a beautiful woman. 
and we into it. Mm. I got a man sitting on my shoulder. I'm hitting rock bottom. Like, you know what we do with dogs. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hitting rock bottom, and the next thing I know, she's getting ready to come. And the veins in her head were popping out. You know, man, we love it when we was like, I'm gonna come. We love it. It's like we just get an intense focus, like, get that nut out. And as I hit her a couple more strokes, she was like, I'm gonna come. And I heard a sound like, did she just fart? So I'm still hitting, you know, when you need to make it. Oh, fuck, I'm still hitting this. <laughs> and I felt something touch my leg. And I smelled something at the same time. It smelled like a fart, but it felt like some wet shit. And I looked, I said, oh, shit, you know, shit. This woman shit on the couch. The couch had the shit hit my knee. I dropped off, hey, look, you know, shit. She said, oh, my God, I'm so embarrassed. If you're saying this or listening to this, please disregard this, please. I don't mean to cry. I won't call your name. She came. Shit. I went to the bathroom. She said, I'm so embarrassed. I said, damn, I'm embarrassed. You got shit on my knee. You shit it on my knee. She cleaned the shit off my knee. I was thankful for that. But damn. Everybody's talking about, yeah, I fuck the shit out of her. I fuck the shit out of her. You know how we talk. Man, we know. Yeah, I fuck the shit out of that little black girl. I fuck the shit out of that little white girl. I fuck the fuck it. I fuck the shit out of her. I fuck the shit out of a girl once. I don't ever want to fuck the shit out of a woman ever again. It's the most humiliating, disgusting feeling. But it felt good to have you fuck shit out of her. But it was sad. It was, I never saw it again. Because I guess it was like, I'm so embarrassed. This young brother fuck the shit out of me. And I had her sexy, beautiful brown ass woman. But I never saw it again. Now, everybody likes sex, but I'll never talk about fucking shit out of a woman again. We're moving on to the next subject, but that's too much. Now, little women, remember, this right here, it's not going to fit for you. You don't worry about it like that. Don't fuck with that. You're going to get tore up. And if you don't have a hysterectomy, you will have one after that. So don't go too far because sometimes things are too big for you. Don't fuck with it. Fuck with that. All right? That right there is for you. That's you. Hit the pill tell them never come. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Have a good day. This is a subject that nobody wants to talk about. And everybody loves sex. And men, let's be honest. If she looks good, that's cool. If she looks okay, that's cool. But when you're desperate, she can look ugly as fuck, and he will fuck the brains out of her. And let's be honest, it's all about supply and demand. And you're the one trying to get the supply, and she is in demand. So we do what we do. Hate me, love me, but you gotta respect the fact I'm telling the truth. Alright? I just want to thank y'all for that brief moment. One other subject. In sex. When she comes, and she comes real, real hard, don't stop. Because when you push her past the coming too hard orgasm stage, trust me, she will love your ass forever. It ain't about eating pussy, and I suck the hell out of pussy. That's some filthy shit. If you eat pussy, you eat nasty. You're a nasty bastard. That means you probably won't do some anything to a woman, anything to anybody. But remember, stay focused when you're fucking, because the fucking is good for you. The ultimate sport in the world is fucking. They need to make a sport. We're getting ready for the fuck Olympics. Because motherfuckers is fucking ass off making babies like it's going crazy. Thank you for your time tonight.